Hi everybody, thank you so much for joining. So today I'm going to do a review on the Revlon Photo Ready Cream Blushes. These are actually, they came up with three blushes only. And the first one is in Revlon Photo Ready, I'm sorry, it's in Flush 200. And this is the color. Let me open it for you. This is the color. It's like a very hot pink color. The other one is Coral Reef 300. Sorry, that was my husband calling me. Or was I? Okay, so that's Coral Reef. And let me open it for you and show you the color. There it is. It's a very bright, bright coral color. That's how I can describe it. And the last one is Pinch 100. And this is the color. This is more like a like a nude, just a little pinch, just like its name. Let me just swatch it for you. They're very creamy. So pigmented. I love them. So this is flushed, coral reef, and pinch. And you might not be able to tell on camera that much, maybe right there. I'm wearing flushed. I've been wearing it for two hours now, and I still have the same power. Even if even if on camera you can't really tell, I do have it on. I usually wear my blushes pretty strongly just because I'm a big fan. I'm a big blush fan, but you know, they wear out really nice. So they usually last around four to five hours before they start fading, and then you can reapply them. What I, what I usually do is I wear the the cream blush and then I'll put a little bit of another blush on top of it just so it can have more stain power I didn't do that today for because of this video but I don't really need to I mean it's just amazing and you can actually apply them with two ways either you can use a synthetic brush or your fingers the brushes that I usually use today I use the Real Techniques blush brush and this is how it looks like very tapered on the front or on the top you get the product like that, or on the, you know, you get the product here, and then you apply, I apply it like this. I just stipple it, and then kind of buff it. That's what I do. That I use, or you can use, is the stippling brush from Real Techniques. Same concept, you just dab it on the product, and then stipple it, and then kind of buff it. That's how I do it. Or you can use the Sigma Angled uh, Top Kabuki F86. Same concept, you just dab it on the product, dab it on your, on your cheeks, or just buff it out, whatever you want to do. These apply amazing. These help the blush apply really nicely in your cheeks. Another tool you can use is your fingers. You know, for that quick, if you don't have your brushes with you, you just want something quick. In fact, let me just show you how I would apply with my fingers. I'll get these two, my middle finger and my ring finger. And I'll just get it like that. And then I'll apply it. Let me just get the mirror. I'll apply it like that. And then kind of just, you know, roll it. And there you go. And I'll do the same thing on my next cheek, on my other cheek, just because, <laughs> you know, I like them blush, but I'm going to look a little crazy if I only wear more blush on one side. So there it is. <clears throat> Very simple. They are cream blushes, but they when they apply to your skin, it goes on like to a powder feeling. So you don't really feel that they're cream blush off. I was scared at first to buy or to use cream blushes because of that matter, because I usually like tend to like, I guess, sweat in a way. It, I mean, it's sweat and it's oil. Here in Texas, it's very, very hot. Like, we're usually, right now, we're over, like, it's either 98 degrees or 106. I'm not even kidding. You guys can check that. It's in the valley, okay? Anyway, I don't have to worry with these because it's just like wearing a powdered blush, if that makes sense. So, yeah, definitely recommend them. They claim that, you know, they are lightweight. 
they blend their blend their blend very easily and another thing that they're buildable buildable why can't I talk they're buildable and I totally agree with them it, it's just a, an amazing product the only downfall oh or another thing that I really like is the packaging it's just like it's not glass it's just like plastic but I like the fact that you can tell you can see the color here and whatever color you see in here that's the color you're gonna get it's not like oh it's a different color no it's the same color and I really love the fact that it has the name on the lid and it has the color on the other side I love the packaging I just don't really like the price they are $12.99 like I said but the good thing is that you can always get them on good deals like at Ulta, Walgreens, CVS um, you can also get them at Target or Walmart but I don't think they usually have sales I picked up these two at Ulta like a month ago maybe or less excuse me I picked them up I picked up the pinched I'm sorry the flush and the how I put the different lids on each one picked up the coral reef and the flush on at Ulta because they were having to sell buy one get one 50% off so I paid $13 for one and the other one was 50% off and then they were having like a three dollars and fifty cents uh, coupon off so I took advantage of that the pinch one I picked it up at the flea market if you guys have a flea market near you or a bargain they always have bargains there amazing prices and they're just products that are either new or like I don't know I'm guessing like customers they're from stores where customers buy them and then they're like oh I got the wrong shade they return them to the store the store puts them like in a box or something and then sells them to these people I really have no idea how it works but they're either used ones where you can just sanitize them or they're new so yeah definitely check out the pulga or the flea market I call it the pulga because that's how everybody calls it here or in my family uh, which is flea market in English but check it out it's amazing deals I think I got it for five dollars it was either five or four I'm pretty sure it was five because it was it was one of the new ones that just came out so yeah definitely check it out and I totally recommend them but if you're gonna buy them I recommend either you going to the flea market or try to get it when there's a deal going on because they're pretty expensive so yeah that is my review guys if you have any other questions let me know and thank you so much for watching guys have a great day bye